Even though the colony is now six years old, the nest entrance is still an unassuming hole in the ground. But this is now a portal into a magical subterranean world. A honey ant super colony. home to several thousand workers. And hundreds of honey-filled repletes. The queen now reigns over a formidable force that dominates this part of Horseshoe Canyon. Together, they have built a complex underground city. Just beneath the surface is a network of chambers and linking tunnels. From these, a single vertical chimney extends two meters down into the concrete hard earth to reach the colony's nerve center. This deep, the soil is still moist, the air cool despite the soaring surface temperatures. This is the very heart of the Queen's Empire. Others too have been drawn to this underground oasis. This beetle has made its way down into the deeper recesses of the labyrinth. As it pushes on into the royal chambers, the Imperial Guard immediately attack. But their jaws and acid sprays make little impact on its heavy armor. After a while, they start to ignore the intruder. Perhaps the beetle begins to take on the colony smell and no longer arouses the guard's suspicions. But the ants leave it alone at their peril. Now passing itself off as a colony member, its true intentions become clear. A beetle this big needs lots of food, and this nursery chamber is proving to be a rich hunting ground. This year, the colony has reached a tipping point. For the first time in its six-year history, there are male as well as female ants in the nest. The Corral Queen has finally succeeded in producing her first generation of winged princes and princesses. Soon, these winged royals will fan out across the desert to establish new colonies. All they need now is a trigger to send them on their way. And that trigger is brewing high in the desert sky. soon season. These torrential downpours can dump several centimeters of rain in just a few hours. The normally hard ground is softened by the deluge. As the day begins to cool, Time has finally come for the corral honey ants to put in an appearance. 
Workers pour out to secure the perimeter of the nest hole, creating a protected launch pad. The queens and much smaller males move up through the tunnels towards the surface and out into the light. Still deep underground, the queen won't witness these momentous events. But her winged sons and daughters are about to spread the royal line far across the desert.